Hey, Wall, it's Gwen. Happy New Year to you guys. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful um, evening. And um, the only thing I really got to say about the goodbye 2021. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm over it. I think many are. I'm over this year. I'm ready to step foot into 2022, but not with a resolution. You know, we're kind of programmed in the matrix to have New Year's resolutions, right? You know what that insinuates? Implies? Is that there's a problem. That you have a problem. That you are a problem. And 2021 had enough problems. You know? 2021 was where I learned how to trust my intuition. 2021 was how I learned how to um, forgive myself. 2021 was a year that um, a lot of things changed in my life. A lot of truths came to life, you know, that needed to, okay? But it was also through all of that, I feel at the end of the year and wrapping it up, it's like I feel stronger going into 2022. Um, just being me, comfortable in my own skin, you know, um, being vulnerable, you know, and open to exciting new adventures. Uh, but I don't want to have a resolution because I just, you know, we have to think of constantly creating our reality with our thoughts and what we say about ourselves. Okay. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm just going in with gratitude that I've learned so much that I could see my own growth too. Yeah that the tears that I've shed this year um, are not trapped in my heart or in my body, which causes dis-ease, anxiety, so many things. Okay, so let's see what the Fae and the liminal spirits have to say for the 31st of December. Um, I hope you could take that forward going into the new year, you know, like you don't have to have a resolution. If anything, I want to be grateful for every present moment and, and jump into it and dive into it. Um, because like if you're continuing to do the same things and expect change, that's just crazy, you know, continuing to say the same things and do the same things. It's just, yeah time to realize there is no box there are no limits all things are possible okay the universe source god creation uh, your fairy godmothers your ancestors your blessed spirit guides and ascended masters want to show you what it's like to be blessed too blessings and miracles and magic that works through you okay so i have a light pink candle uh, continuing to burn for us this has been over the course of two days which is talking about this radical self-care this this relationship with self that is most important in our life and whatever, you know, it's very cliche kind of thing that the spiritual community throws around this self care, but it's different for everyone. You know, I can't tell you what to do. That's going to make your inner child happy. I can't tell you what to do. I don't know your love language, you know, like, you know, your love language best right so let's see we've got venus in retrograde yeah so we're really doing a lot of um evaluating our our relationships in our life 
Okay. Um, and then we we're going to get... Mer I'm going to warn you guys. Mercury's going into retrograde. A couple weeks. I don't know the date. I kind of don't want to know the date. But it's going to be in retrograde till the end of February. So it is... Um, going to be a lot of introspection uh, and review, okay? Yeah, there's that special place that's coming out. Her special place about this um, connection with spirit, but connection with nature as well, and finding this home, this special place, this inner peace within your temple body. And I think it's important that we all have, that we all, I think we're all in a, in a way searching for that, you know, and if it's not a feeling that it, you know, that if you're not there yet inside with, with your healing process, you know, then I think it's very important that in the matrix, in the reality that we have, you know, like I have a special reading spot in my home with all of my pretties and my cards and my crystals and my bells and my altar art before me, my dragon behind me, you know, like I, it's important to have a little space, a little spot, a little chair out on the porch where you sit and watch nature, you know? Um, so here's this card I was talking about her special place. You can see that her dress actually looks like it's turning in. It's like, connected to the lily pad it's turning into it it's like energy okay that runs through you to you from earth okay she sits atop the lily pad and it's the lotus has already bloomed okay find your own safe space inside and out card 16 which is a seven sevens are all about your own evolution Okay. Be mindful of energy around you. We've got the Silver Sisters here. Card nine. Time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy. And so I've been talking about our thoughts. You know, and, and that was a lot of my revelations this year, too, is how a lot of my, a lot of the things that come into my reality, Spirit's been showing me are just as the soap opera in my head. Okay, you know, like you want peace in your life then the peace has to come in within the temple and the, the mind is part of the temple. The emotions are part of the temple. Okay, where's your emotional center, your stomach? How are, how are you treating your stomach? What are you feeding it? Right, are you starving it? Right, this is also people around you that might be envious, jealous, um, not to be trusted, negative energy. Okay. So protect yourself and you have a divine right to draw a sacred circle around you. Do you hear me as a sovereign being? Hear me say that you have a divine right to draw a sacred circle around your around you, around your energy, around your soul, around yourself around you, around your spirit, okay? And you can do that at any time. You can connect your light roots to Mother Earth. You can shield and protect yourself with light. You can call upon the archangels to help you feel better, feel more protected, okay? We have as above, so below, okay? There are earth angels and there are angels in the sky in spirit helping you. You get it? Card one now. New beginning is the one. Here's the cunning woman. And she brings about the fox spirit. Okay, the fox is up there, if you haven't seen him, right up front here, hiding kind of in the shadows, right? Because it's... It's almost like, um, well, the fox is the sacred magician of the forest. That's what I call him, okay? And he uses his 
cunningness and his slyness and his wit, okay, and his charm, okay, to get by. And so there's very much Queen of Wands energy as well, okay, dashing, daring, bold, charismatic, okay. There is a little squirrel that sits on top of her hat, the little witchy hat. And that's the squirrel is, you know, the one that says to take the leap of faith, to believe in yourself. Okay. You have much wisdom now, right? Silent, observant, and wily. You learn so much in the silence when you become the observer. Okay. I love to observe energy games at play. Different little scenarios happening. Different little energy games happening. The soap opera that happens in this apartment complex. And now the energy transforms and moves around through the people, through the events, through the circumstance. It's just a trick. That's who I am. It's always, oh, I'm a fun soul. <laughs> it's a trip being me. <laughs> oh, you guys. If this is the first time you're joining me. Welcome. I'm Gwen. I'm <laughs> Remember to give me some love down below and reach out. I'm booking private readings, so reach out to me. Um, can tell you what's in store for the new year for you. Okay, can tune into your love situation, can tune into your career, your finances, or maybe you want to talk about your health. I can do all of that for you. I love you. Um, it could be a time right now. I mean, look at look at this progression here. The one and now the two. Okay. This silence, this observation, taking a step back from a situation, okay, to, I feel like the fox spirit is about making a plan to, okay, uh-huh, using your cunning and your wit and your wiliness, right? And then there's this solace, like really uh, nurturing your inner child, because this is a tree, okay, and inside, this came out yesterday's reading too, I think. Inside of the womb of the tree is this mother and child, right? This deep connection to nature, to the trees, tree wisdom, okay? These fairies, the fairy are telling you to connect with trees, connect with plants, with plant medicine, flower essences, natural remedies, okay? To love you and your inner child fiercely. Solace, meaning solitary, by yourself, quiet, I feel much quiet with this, too. You'll be able to see these silver sisters very easily. Call your energy back to you. Okay? I do that a lot of times, too, as a check um, to see what energy is attached to me. If you, call, if you seriously, you know, like, focus, get, connect your light roots, okay? Connect to your breath. Quiet your mind. Focus on your breath. Connect these roots. Okay. And then call your energy back to you. All right. Within the next hour or so, you're going to have people who are connected to your energy reach out to you in some way. You'll be able to see who's connected to your energy. Okay. Do you want them connected to your energy still? I don't know. That's on you. You know what I'm saying? What are, what are your roots from the liminal spirits? The last card today. Before, we're going to get some guardian angel cards because I'm just loving those. Let's see what they've got to say for the new year. Okay. Oh, and while I'm talking about roots, I want you also to think about a question that you would like to ask your guardian angel. Okay. And hopefully we'll get some really solid affirmations or answers for you with these guardian angel cards. So the roots. I'm just going to read it to Oh, they're like, just read the whole thing about roots. This is one of the rites in my liminal spirits deck. Um, I think, yeah. Roots. Our roots are made up of many things. Our ancestors, the people in our immediate and chosen families, and the places we come from. Roots can direct us not just to who or where, but also to how and why things are the way they are. Underneath the skin and soil. The heart sees truly. Consider, where do you come from? What are your roots? Where do you wish to take root and grow? In order not only to grow, but to flourish, connect with your foundation. 
Pay homage to your ancestors. Consider your immediate family connections and review the folklore that has influenced you since you were a child. Are you honoring your past, not only the successes, but also the failures that made you who you are today? We tend to learn more from the times we have failed than, the things, than when things went smoothly. There is no need to cut those parts out of your memory or identity. That's why I share as many stories as I do and why I'm so open and vulnerable. Well, I have become way more that way this year. That's growth too, uh, because I, like, when I give advice, I want people to know, like, I, I've been in your shoes or I know how that feels. You know, I've had a, a lot of trauma in my life for a reason. You know, and been there, done that, so I can give solid advice, okay? Um, and those tougher times is where we learn our resiliency, our courage, our strength, our, you know? And um, so, yeah, it makes me a highly effective empath. Like, I don't know what a super empath. I don't know what you call it, okay? So, um don't leave those parts out. Tell your story. Right? We are one. It's about connection with other people. Experience, life experience, and then you share. And then your children learn from it too. Okay? Um, don't be fooled by what's on the surface. Pay attention to your intuition and look deeper to uncover the truth. Okay? I told you this year has been me, me finding a home within my heart too, but like see being really able to trust my own intuition again. Yeah. I know I have intuition, but like to trust it, to make my own personal choices, it's far easier for me to give the advice comes easily, smoothly, effectively for others. For my own self, this part trips me up. These two have been learning how to get along together this year. Ooh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Look deeper to uncover the truth. We all see an eye right here, right? It almost looks like a tree too, right? They want you to go to the heart of the tree. But see, look at these spirals that I'm seeing here too. Like it's all, are you looking at your patterns? Hmm, darlings. Okay. What do the guardian now now for your questions? Okay. Now what do the guardian angels have to say today for the collective? New Year's Eve 2021. Well, they don't even want to straighten up. Okay, I won't straighten them up. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I got an affirmation. That's awesome. Okay. Affirmation, guilt, and prayer. Okay, this is beautiful. So we're going to read about the guilt because maybe this is what spirit, your guardian angels would like you to release your guilt about this situation. If you're holding on to any sort of guilt about the question that you asked, this, this is what they want to say to you. Okay. You do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love. Regardless of what you've done or what you think you failed to do, from your soul's perspective, there's, a, there's neither right nor wrong. Every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom. You've done nothing wrong. Blue. Blue speaks to an emotional healing in this situation. Release your feelings of guilt. Forgive yourself so that you can move on. Okay. Prayer. They're actually offering you a prayer. You might want to take a picture of this one if it really resonates with you. Okay. Um, dear God, help me always to remember that the present life is but a fleeting moment within eternity. Help me always to remember that l this life is but a dream. Help me always to remember that you that you exist within everyone and everything. Help me always to remember that love is all there is and that all else is an illusion. Thank you. Pink, heart healing, crown chakra healing. I feel both of those in this card. Okay. 
beautiful prayer they're providing for you. Say more prayers, okay? Put some prayer into the intentions if, if, if you were asking about some manifestation coming through, okay? We pray so hard for others. Spirit says pro, you need to put that amount of power in prayer for yourself. This is about self first. We've been trained and programmed to think this word selfish is a bad thing. It is not. Our cup has to be full before we can give it to anybody else. All right? And then I've got an affirmation card. So if you're looking for a yes or a no answer, this was the yes. Okay? Affirmation. I think. Let's see. Let's read it. <laughs> this is a brand new deck for me. Be aware of your language and thoughts. The most powerful statement you can ever make think or feel is thank you. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life. As we acknowledge the divine order of life, the universe responds with ever greater blessings. You are a powerful creator. All you say and think resonates through the heart of creation and creation responds accordingly. So continue to be, feel grateful, feel gratitude in your heart, thank spirit, the universe, God, source, universal mother, universal energy for continuously providing blessings in your life. And that will continue to come. Okay? Attitude of gratitude is... So it's an affirmation. I say, yes, blessings are coming. Blessings that are coming, darlings. You want, to give, you want an animal, huh? Animal besides the fox and squirrel. Okay. What other animal is guiding the collective right now? Animal spirit oracle here. New Year's Eve message. New Year's Eve message, they said. Okay. New Year's Eve message. Bring your ideas to life. Yay! It's the electric eel. Card 26. Look at all that blue energy. Okay co-creation with spirit. I almost feel like that's like the flower of life behind there, that image in the back. All the swirls and the patterns again, it's kind of like this. It's time to live and breathe your truth, is what this says. Be grounded and rooted in, in your dreams, in your ideas. Bring them to, it's time to bring them to life. Take action, move forward. Um, this is also speaks to, electric eel so things coming to light epiphanies happening sudden epiphanies okay the crow spirit is here with messages <laughs> it's the messenger bird also reminds me of the ancestors with you co-create with spirit they're just taking the words out of my mouth again just double double affirmation there the crow and now the cow oh i love it darlings the miracles are endless Yes, they are. The possibilities are endless. You are limitless. The abundance is all around you. The love is all around you. Be more grateful. Value and treasure what you have. More will flow to you. Okay? Moo cow. <laughs> I love you guys. Drop me some love below. I'll talk to you soon.